Hi guys and welcome to my channel where today we are working on the sweet patterns and this is like a um, kind of like candy and valentine's okay. but it's just really cute like you could go so many directions with this so I, I have my spine made and I've got my signatures cut and I think I need to flip this this way. Yeah. This is going to be the front. I don't like that, but I'm going to put lace over it. So we're okay there. And then this is going to be my pattern for the front. And then I want to put something inside of it too. Not sure yet what, but I'm working on that. So, I just need to punch my signatures, and I've already marked them. And the way I mark them, for those of you who have not done this yet, is you I've got my holes punched, and then I go in and I just line these up to where the holes are. Why does that seem off to me now? That doesn't seem... Yeah, that doesn't seem, that one seems good. It's this one that's off. So what I do is I line that one up there, and then I find the hole down here, and then I just mark it with my pencil. Right? Then, oops, broke my lid, like that. So I need to erase this one. Okay, and then I take them over to my book binding cradle. And I turn it inside out like this. And then I put them inside my book binding. I should do it over here. But it's really big. I don't think I have enough room. Mm, we can try it. Okay. Hold on. We'll give it a shot and see if it's going to work. It might be too big. Just give me one second, guys. So here is my book binding cradle, and I got a feeling it's going to be too big. We're going to find out. Well, maybe not. Okay, so I have my stuff marked, and then I'm going to lay, oops, I'll lay it in here, right, down into that crease, and then I'll put my clamp on so it can't move, right? And then I get my awl, and all this mess, where'd my awl go? Uh-oh, I think it's back there, guys. Hold on. Oh, no. I just had it. How come I keep losing stuff? Because that's how my whole day has been going. Lose and find and lose and find. Well, did I put it under here? I found my pencil. Hold on, guys. I found it. Okay, so you see where I made my holes? I'm just going to punch and pull. Punch and pull. Punch and pull. Now my holes are made their center and I'll take this one out and I'll drop the other one in and do the same on it. So it's relatively easy. It's not difficult. And my husband made mine for me. Work 
Christmas. Okay, up there. Clamp on. You can go on Amazon or Etsy and buy these. It just make life a little more easy. Okay, so here, here, Ooh, and looks like there. We'll find out if that wasn't wrong. Okay, that was that. Now we sew in the signatures. Pretty easy, huh? All right, let me move this. Let me move this guy. And we'll be back to where we started. Okay. And then I need to get my rings, too, for the St. Patrick's Day journal I'm making. All right, so now we've got... Our journal cover and our signatures and somewhere over here I had a needle earlier definitely got to find that not the hard way either so anyhow we're going to sew in the signatures and I think I'm going to go ahead and use this chocolate covered string well waxed thread and I think I want my um, strings to come out the back side oh you know what I haven't decorated that I had to put lace on there guys hold on hold on hold on hold on I had to put lace or fabric on there and so I'm wondering Maybe maybe uh, maybe not. Let's look at some washi. Let's look at some washi. some washi maybe and if not then I'll just get a color coordinated piece of paper for there I do have this it's Asian themed but do we really care ooh, ooh, ooh. I have this look at that that one's cute what else do I have? Do you think I have enough washi yet? <laughs> I have more. It's just not in here. Okay, so I'm thinking that might be a cute place to start. Ooh, 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 look at that. I think we might go with those. But I gotta glue them down and let them dry. Oh, oh, oh. And maybe this down the middle of the two. Look. Look. Come on, focus here. Maybe. I really like this one. Because it's almost. See, I kind of like that one. Let me look again. Dig a little deeper. Dig a little deeper because I have all kinds of washi. And I just want to make sure that it's adorable. 
and it matches because you don't want to go through the trouble of putting together a really nice journal using this beautiful paper <gasps> pink hearts look at that oh yeah figured it out pink hearts so yeah you want to make sure everything looks good so we're going to go with those colors and then we'll, we'll get that spine done Yep, get this spine done. I like those colors. Alright, so we're going to go down the middle with the regular pink, like this. Okay? And then we'll go to the sides with that. Okay. That's what we're going to do. And I put the extra glue because washi is not intended to be a permanent, a permanent glue. It's just not, okay? Not a permanent glue. Okay, so we're going to go down the middle. Like so. Okay. Cut it off. I'll cut it off a little bit more. I don't want it to go completely to the edge. Perfect. I thought that washi tape was going to roll off the desk. Okay, a little bit more. Just an eensy weensy bit more off. We'll go down the sides with the pink hearts. That's going to match the pink. Isn't that cute? Over a bit. Yeah. I like that. I do, I do, I do. Alright, so we're going to go. Just the top or the bottom. Isn't that adorable? Oops, I'm peel that way. It's even. Even Steven. Come on. Come on. Come on. Even Steven. go and then we'll cut this edge pretty good and then we'll do this side and then we'll have that chocolate brown wax thread so that'll look pretty good pretty good I love when they say shop your stash, and now I know why. Uh, do I have that over too far? Oh, it's perfect. Just good enough for me. Yup. This is good. I like that. Okay. Now then, I can do, oh, I'll put the lace on last. I can do the lace on the front. Okay, isn't that cool? That'll be the front, and it'll go with the spine. Kind of a muted, not in your face spine, which is nice. I like. 
I like, I like, I like. All right. So we just got to cut the front. But at least now I can do my signatures. Okay. We can finish the front up in our next video. All right, guys. So I'm going to get this done. And I was showing in an earlier video, if you want your string to the outside, you start from the outside. If you want the string to the inside, you start from the inside. Okay. There's my first set. Yeah. Line these up. Yep, that'll do it. So we're going to start in the middle. Here, let me make a spot so I can see. There we go. We're going to go through the middle of this. And we're going to go through the top. It's not always as easy as it looks. You kind of gotta thread that through or work it through and be nice and try not to say bad words. And then eventually, you're through and you can go in through your top hole, right? Then we're going to come through. Get a little more like that, maybe. Maybe like that. Then we're going to go through the bottom, and I'm just going to poke a hole here so I know where I'm at. Through that wax. Through here. Okay. All right, now we find that bottom. Same thing. We're just going to kind of work our way through. And then you'll know, you know what? This isn't as easy as it looks. You know, a lot of people think putting journals together is a walk and a part, but it is work. It is work. All right, go through here, okay? So again, like I showed you, it's middle, middle, top, bottom, middle. It's kind of like weaving. And you got to make sure you don't go poke through your thread there like I just did. You got to be out from it. And straddle of it. All right, there was one done, guys. Put that over there. I'm going to pull it tight and knot it. Now, I generally leave my threads long until I know what I'm going to do with them. Okay, there's one. Right, we're going to do the other, and then these, you just kind of have to, once they're in, you just kind of got to work them, because they don't want to, they're brand new, right? And what I should have done was taken my bone folder and folded them really good the first time, but I did not do that. I don't know why I forgot, but I did. Okay. All right, there's one. Let's start going this way. Now, when we get ready to embellish this, I will not be putting anything on the lined paper or the thin paper. It's going to go on this pink side or the printed side. Okay. And as this gets older and used more. These pages tend to lay down better. 
and you can also put them in a book press like if I was thinking I would put them in my book press and then just crank them down so that they stay one direction or the other but I ain't doing that because this is like I said going to be a, a decoration for my office alright so we got to do the second one and we're going to do it the exact same way guys no different and then this one will be ready for us to finish the front cover and embellish and I don't know which one I'm going to do next. I want to do, I want to work on um, the indigo. That one's pretty. And then I want to work on La Condesa. So, like I said, I'm not exactly sure which I want to tackle first. Alright, so we're going to do, it's over here somewhere. One. Two, three. Now I gave this one some space because it's going to be full. It's going to be full. Alright, through the middle, through the middle. Come on, work with me here. Like I said, sometimes you just kind of, sometimes you actually literally have to put them on one at a time. A lot of people, and I've seen it and I've done it, will paper clip them so you don't have to go through this much trouble. And I should have done that. Would have made my life a lot easier. Okay, there we go. Oh, let me make sure I have this right side up. I do not. Now I do. Yeah. It's like, oh no, let me make sure everything is right side up. Yeah. Yeah. Now I look, right? And this guy gets threaded through here. And again, I definitely should have paper clipped these, but what you get when you get in a hurry. I'll show you guys on the next journal we make what I mean by paper clip them. Okay, this goes now through here. Okay. And we're coming all the way down to the bottom. And through the bottom. Through the bottom. Alright, so that took a minute, guys, but we're there. This guy pulled up. Little bit more. Oh yeah, a lot more actually. A lot more. There we go, that should do it. And then back through the middle. Boy, did I luck out. I don't know how I did that, but I... Let's see. Are you on the inside there? No. I was like, how did I do that and manage to miss that string? But then I realized I hadn't. All right, so we tighten this one up, guys, and our signatures are in. Next up, pockets, embellishments. And we're going to make those with... The leftover paper is what we're going to do. All right, let's measure. And thank you guys for sticking around. Look at that. Okay, so we're there. There's our 
there's our front signature, our middle, middle signature, and again, all we have to do now is embellish. Thank you guys, appreciate you sticking around. Thank you.